Uh, Andy, new first team manager of the club. I know obviously the club's been through a lot this week, but in isolation, how does that sound to you? It's fantastic news for me. Um, buzzing to for Michelle on the board to offer me the, the position. Um, it, has, it has been um, a quick turnaround. Um, we all wish Jimmy, Chris and, and Ant all the best in their future careers because they've worked out as hard this season. Um, but yeah, almost to the future, we, we, we look and we bring the people in that we think we can get promotion with and, and finish the job before we start. As you say, ultimately, three departures has led, led to this and obviously a disappointing end to the season last weekend. How, how has everyone dissected that over the last couple of days? Yeah, it's been, it's been it's hard to dissect so far. Um, it's been a quick turnaround from it all. We've had, we've had a week where we've had a, a little bit of a review session. Um, but obviously the news had broken. Um, yesterday that the manager had been relieved of duties and, and it's, it's all starting again now. Um, so yeah, we look at it with, with open arms and we, we, uh, we concentrate on our roles now uh, and get the best possible people in to, to fulfil like again what we, we want with this promotion. Obviously you said it's a quick turnaround for you. What's been the message from Michelle on the board? Um, just bring what you've brought, what your knowledge is. Um, they want promotion, the club want promotion, not get hide away from the fact that they do. Um, and that's down to having a core select group of players that we've got still in the squad, but also adding those little bits of sprinkling sparkles and a bit of magic that can uh, really excite us going forward. I suppose one of your first jobs is to, to assess what's there and, and sort out the retained list, isn't it? Yeah, I've not even had a chance to speak to the players yet, and uh, I'll get a chance to speak to them now. Um, obviously, there's some, some worried faces because there's a few out of contract. Um, so I'll have a, have a chat with them, and then um, we'll, we'll make the retain release list uh, and go forward after that. But no, I'm, I'm, I'm looking forward to a, a, a real good challenge, a real opportunity for myself, uh, and, and bring us the right staff in that I want. Um, so yeah, we'll, we'll sit down, we'll go through it now with with Lee and, and, and the board now and, and look at his options and, and make a decision from there. So as we speak to you now on Friday, I suppose you've got the weekend to, to kind of mull it over and then come back in next week and, and really solidify your plans. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's been that quick. Of, of it's, it's getting everything in sorted now. Um, so I've got this weekend now to, to really sit down, um, chew the fat of it all and, and get it going because it's, it's important that we get this right. Uh, just for the, for the whole club, the whole the whole town we need to get this right now. You see in your face, you're excited by the challenge. I really am, yeah. Um, one shot of football, you, it's difficult to get back in. I had a little spell out of football and unfortunately for me, I got back in with the academy and then obviously into the first team now. Uh, I'm not letting go of it. Uh, I won't let go of it. It's, it's been my life the whole way through. Uh, that's all I've known. So yeah, I'm going to I'm going to grasp it with both hands and I'm going to relish this challenge because it will be a challenge because this team's in that division now are going full time as well. Um, so we're, we're not um, on our own, um, but I do believe with the players we've got in the, in the club already and, the, and like I say the ad additions we're going to bring in, we, we've got a right chance. You've obviously got, obviously got experience of, of the role, you, you had a caretaker spell at Doncaster, you had the, the Bells, you've had first team coach experience, you must feel like you're ready to make the step up. Yeah, I learned a lot from my, my, my roles, um, bringing the right people in. Big, big one for me, a real, a real big one. We uh, need to get the, the structure right from the staffing point of view, um, so we, we know who, who we've got. Um, but yeah, I am ready. Uh, like I said, I'm, since I've been off, I haven't stopped smiling. So yeah, it's, it's going to be tough, and then I'll probably get a few more grey hairs. Um, but I can't wait for the season to start now. And again, there'll be a mindset from the club straight away that promotion's a goal. Uh, there's no hiding away from it. Uh, and I make sure the players know that from straight away. And again, bringing the players in now, um, they'll see the, the facilities we've got, um, the infrastructure we've built, and obviously the support we've got. It hopefully helps my job a little bit easier attracting the people um, because um, 8,000 fans must be incredible. And we, we thank them. I don't know if, the, if uh, Gaffer was here now, we did thank him as well. Um, but now we need your support as well. Um, this season, it's going to be a tough season. Like I said, there'll be teams who do fancy chances again, but we've got it right there with them going toe for toe, and we will be the first team in the league. Obviously, um, the statement that was released yesterday alluded to the fact that the, the budget has to be cut, but I suppose while it's going to be difficult, it's still a, a really big budget for this league, isn't it? 
Oh yeah, it's 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 obviously it's a competitive budget and the, and the club have made available what they can do. Um, and it's up to, to us now as a staff to 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 work around that and, and get people in around that. Um, we know clubs have to be sustainable, so again, um, we bring players in that can can fit the mould that we want as a personality as well as a player and also within our budgets because it's important we stick and we make sure there's a club. There's no point in getting players if we're not a club. And again, that comes down to the fans. So we'd like to repay them for all their um, generosity last season and put a performance on for the next season. I suppose your summer's cancelled now, is it? Uh, yeah, um, yeah, it'll be it'll be full on it uh, again. Once this goes out, I'm guessing the phone will go off the hook, and that's a good thing because we know we're a big club and we do will attract players. It's just getting, let's say, the right personnel in and the right mindset. That is going to be hard work and it is going to be a tough season because the players we bring in will have to work hard to represent the Scunthorpe Merit badge and that's what we're going to install on them throughout the season. It's a privilege to play for this club, you've got to be proud for it and again you've got to put your whole body on the line for it because it's going to take 18 or 19 players that we bring in to make this team, uh, to make this clean click and obviously the ones that are in already know what we're about and uh, we build on it. And like I say, promotion is the goal and looking forward to the challenge. I know many fans kind of feeling the news will have one question and then boots on the, on the hook now, now you're a manager. Yeah, yeah, firmly on the hook now. Um, I'm going to give everything I can to, to make uh, this club successful. And yeah, boots are away now, uh, hung up, last game against uh, Spalding. Um, so it was, a, it was a nice fitting way to end it, but I've learned from pre previous roles that you, you can't do both. You have to be all in or nothing. Um, so yeah, I'll be firmly putting those boots away um, and getting the, the, the long coat out now and uh, yeah, relishing this role.